Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking find the area of the surface obtained by rotating the curve y is equal to x square 1 to 2 about y axis. Now, let's see how we can find it. So, we know that this is going to be a parabola opening up. So, let's draw the graph first. Parabola opening up. and they are saying the region is from 1 to 2 so let's say this is 1 and this is 2 and the region we are interested in is this region right so whenever they say this is uh, rotating around y-axis we have to write this equation surface area is going to be equal to integral 2 phi x if it's rotating around y-axis it's x if it's rotating around x axis, it's y. So 2 phi x ds. So ds is basically the arc length formula. So we can write this one as 2 phi x. And if I want to keep, we know that y is equal to x square. And it seems like it's easy to find the derivative of this one. So let's take the y prime. Let's find the y prime. So we can write the re, uh, ds, the arc length formula, in terms of y prime. So we can take 1 plus y prime square. If I take y prime, we have to take dx, right? So let's find the derivative. So y prime is going to be 2x. So y prime square is going to be 4x square, right? So 4x square, let's plug this one in this equation. So this is going to be, and limits of integration is going to be, since we are doing terms of x, this is going to be 1 to 2. So 1 to 2 is my limits of integration and let's do this so 1 to 2 2 phi x and this is going to be 1 plus 4 x square right and if you notice we have the derivative outside we have x square and x right here so we can do, do the u substitution so here this 2 phi is a constant we can move it to front 2 phi let's write uh, in a different way and then do the u substitution so 2 phi 1 2 x 1 plus 4 x square dx now I can take u as so let's continue this one right here u as 1 plus 4 x square so if I take u 1 plus 4 x square the du is going to be du is going to be 8 x dx right but if you notice we, we are replacing this one with u but we have to replace this one with the du. So here we have x dx, so we have to separate this x dx. So that's going to be du by 8 is going to be equal to x dx. Right? Now we can write everything in terms of u. So let's go ahead and write everything in terms of u. And li new limits of integration is going to be this one. If you substitute 1 for this x value, the u equation, 1 square is going to be just 1. 4 times 1, that's going to be 4. 4 plus 1, that's going to be 5. So 5 is going to be lower limit of low, lower limits of integration. And the upper limits of integration is going to be, if you substitute 2 for this x value, 2 square is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 1 is going to be 17. Right? So that's going to be the new limits of integration. And let's write everything in terms of u. And we know that square root of this 1 plus 4x square is equal to u, so we can put square root of u and x dx is equal to du by 8. Since uh, du by 1 over 8 is constant, we, we have a 2 phi also in front, and 1 over 8 is constant, we can divide that one at that 8 in the front, and du is going to be right here. Right? So let's do the integration. So here we are going to have 2 phi divided by 8, and if we integrate this one, this is same as u power half u power half plus 1 to the power so this will same as plus 2 by 2 so that's going to give us u power 3 by 2 right and that's going from 5 to 70 let's substitute the values so we have this is this value this can be written as 5 over 4 right 2 and 8 cancels 5 over 4 and if you substitute 70 this is going to be 17 power you know what there's a mistake right here 
So u power 3 by 2, I have to divide by the, the power 2, right? So this is going to be divided by 3 by 2. Instead of writing 2 in the bottom, I can bring it to the top. So this is going to be 4 and we are going to have 5 by 2 right here. 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. Because 4 and 8 cancels, that become 2. 2 times this 3, 6. 5 by 6. And then we have u power 3 by 2 going from 5 to 17. Now we can go ahead and substitute the values. So 5 over 6, 17 power 3 by 2 minus 5 power 3 by 2. That's going to be it. Right? And we can, if you want, you know the 3 by 2 is same as 1.5. So it's same as 17 power 1, 17 power half. Right, so you can write 17 root 17. So this can be written as 5 over 6, 17 root 17, and this one is same thing 5 root 5, and that's going to be the final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.